microphone. Great. The clicker. Okay. Here's the timer. <clears throat> All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. My name is Jason Tanko. I'm the executive director of NAFA, the National Fed. <laughs> Anthony and I just had our um, Southern California Civic Leadership Forum just yesterday. So um, I flew in from LA this morning. So um, I'm with NAFA, the National Federation of Filipino American Associations. Uh, we are the largest national organization focused on the 4 million Filipino Americans throughout the United States. We focus on leadership development, civic engagement, and advocacy for the community. Um, and our vision is to really foster a united and empowered Filipino American community. And our tagline is one voice, four million strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free to take that for the API community. <laughs> um, in terms of our population, so we are largest in California. Um, 1.6 million Filipino Americans. We're the second largest Asian American community in California behind Chinese Americans. Um, overall, throughout the country, Filipino Americans are the third largest Asian American community behind Chinese Americans and Indian Americans. Um, we were just outpaced actually by Indian Americans, I think a few years ago. So we got bumped down to third, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, we're largest in California, 1.6 million, followed by Hawaii, uh, 370,000 Filipinos there, uh, followed by Texas, surprisingly, um, 200,000, Washington State, eight, 180,000, and Nevada, 170,000. So those are the top five states. And then just if you're curious, uh, followed by Illinois, New York, Florida, New Jersey, Virginia, Maryland, and actually Arizona is a growing Filipino-American state for us as well. Um, this is our regional map for NAFA. We have 13 uh, regions throughout the country. California is divided into three regions because there's so many, obviously, um, areas with Filipino Americans. You know, obviously the Bay Area, Los Angeles, and San Diego being the biggest regions for us. And then we also have uh, 12 other regions throughout the country as well. Um, so our main programs are leadership development. <clears throat> civic engagement and advocacy. So I'll talk about our civic leadership forums. We've hosted two so far, one in Northern California in April, and again, one just yesterday in Southern California. We have an Empowering Filipino Youth Through Collaboration, or EPIC, program where we're, fo we're focused on empowering the next generation of leaders. Um, of the four million Filipino Americans in the US, actually half, more than two million, are under the age of 35. So we know that as an organization, we really need to focus on the next generation of leaders. Um, civic engagement, we uh, partner with groups like API Vote and around our Philam Vote, Filipino American Vote program. Um, and immigration is also one of our key advocacy priorities. Um, so I wanted to make this interactive and ask you all, how many members of Congress, Filipino American members of Congress, are there currently? Is it A, B? Okay, so raise your hand. Do you think it's A? B, raise your hand. C, raise your hand. And D, raise your hand. All right, so currently, there is only one member of Congress that's Filipino American, Congressman Bobby Scott. So um, in order to, for us to be, oh, sure. Candy. Can I pause this? <laughs> so that's my next slide. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yes, we currently do only have one, but thankfully we have our second member of Congress, our first representing California, Congressman-elect T.J. Scott. Oh, is he? Oh, there we go. We all win. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> so he's half Filipino and we are so proud that he just made it. Uh, Gene Ortiz Jones. Yes. I 100% agree with that, Sandy. And actually, um, another candidate, Gene Ortiz Jones in, in Texas, uh, was running for Congress there, lost by less than 1,000 votes. So we were close to having three. Um, so close, but uh, you know, maybe she'll run again in 2020. Um, uh, so for our SoCal CLF, which was, again, just yesterday, we had eight elected officials, 20 community partners, and about 150 um, attendees. 
Uh, this is the, I, I don't know if you all could see them, just different uh, mayors, council members from throughout Southern, Cal oh wow, okay, I need to speed up. <laughs> Northern California, um, likewise as well, we had <clears throat> Assemblyman Rob Bonta, who's one of two Filipino American uh, uh, statewide elected officials in addition to Todd Gloria. Um, okay, real quick, how many, what percent of fil eligible Filipino Americans voted in the 2016 election? Do you all think it's A, 70%, B, 60%? All right, the correct answer is C, only, <laughs> only half of us voted in 2016, so we know that we need to do better as a community, which is why we're, um, we're partnering with API Vote to help increase that throughout the country. Yeah, okay, yeah, so please. Um, I know I'm behind on time, but yeah, this is uh, the data from API Data. Um, Filipinos are the third highest um, behind Indian Americans and Japanese. And this is all data on apidata.org, um, just in case you all want to look it up. But uh, we definitely know that we need to do a better job um, through our fill and vote program. Um, in terms of advocacy, like I mentioned earlier, um, immigration reform is one of our key issues. Um, we have the most number of Filipinos waiting in line for a family visa. Um, second in line, second only behind Mexico. So that's really something that we want to advocate for as a community. Um, so with that, a quick save the date. We have our national conference in August in Los Angeles. Um, so we'd love for you all to be there. And um, in terms of next year, we're also thinking about hosting our next civic leadership forum in Hawaii, um, just based on the Filipino population there. Not because we're just wanting to go to Hawaii, although that is a, you know, part of the reason why. Um, you know, given the population there, and there's also a number of Filipino American elected officials there. So we'd love to work with you all. If you are interested, please let me know. Thank you so much.